Good morning. It's the next day here in London. We are staying at the Radisson Blue. I don't know if we mentioned that or not, but they were most excellent. We arrived at like six in the morning and they let us check in. It was pretty cool. It's a nice place. But today our friend Marie from Canada is joining us here in London and we've got some fun plans. We're gonna have some afternoon tea and... We're gonna see a show. How exciting is that? I'm excited. But before she gets here, what are we doing? We're gonna go to the, is it called the Tower of London? It's Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. And then after that, we'll go meet our friend Marie and do all the other fun stuff. So stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Shout out to Katie and Joe of House of Argyle. Walking down the street, coming upon the Tower Bridge, and we're coming up upon where it crosses the River Thames. Thames. Tomato, tomato. Fun fact about Tower Bridge is it connects one bit of land to the other so that you can cross the safe the River Thames without getting wet. So here we are. We just walked across the Tower Bridge. And if you haven't figured out by now that if you are on a quest for a lot of history and factual knowledge about that bridge, you have come to the wrong place. Because all I know about it is that it's a bridge and that it was built between 1886 and 1894. And then that area right there where there's like a white vehicle going across right now opens up to allow taller ships into what they call the London Pool. I don't know if the London Pool is just a reference to this area of the river, or if there's some part of further... If you know, let yeah, us know swim. in the comments. Let's, Let's go, go to the, the pool. pool! However, Mary, Queen of Scots, was not imprisoned there. I was under that misconception for a very small moment, because I got the Tower of London mixed up with Tower Bridge. Which is easy to do, because the Tower of London is just right there. Which is why they named this Tower Bridge, because it's by the Tower of London, so... This much we know. Another thing about this bridge, I think it was the reboot of Independence Day, where they made the very astute observance that when aliens attack, they like to get the landmarks. Let's see, let's get out of here before aliens attack. Okay. We decided to add one more stop to our itinerary today, which is Borough Market. Borough Market is a place where vendors come to sell their goods and services to consumers in exchange for their money. Also, it's where you can find something yummy to eat. Yeah, you can buy all sorts of stuff like cheese, meat, flowers, chilies, curries, coffee. What are we after today? Olives, but we're not after olives, I'm just, I'm just listing things off. Um, we saw on the Endless Adventures video a place where they make grilled cheese sandwiches that looked to die for. So we don't know if they're open or not today, but we're gonna be damned if we don't find them and try it.
And look who we found. Murray! Also known as Mahi. Hey, baby. Hey, how's it going? Good. Just going to get some lunch. I'm excited. It's pretty cool. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Any good? Oh, yeah. It's absolutely delightful. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it like cooked in a big, did they put it in a big cheese? <laughs> Very cheesy. Gotta get the Malai chicken. You agree? I can recommend. Yeah? Yeah. Toast of the goats. <laughs> do people still say that? <laughs> you do. <laughs> We have canel with ricotta inside, goat cheese on top, and beetroot pickles. Puff pastry sausage roll with Cornish meat, French eggs, and bacon. And that is my favorite. Madeleine made it with a garlic bread powder inside. Pickle fennel, smoked salmon, caviar beluga. Scones under the napkins, which they are warm, along with strawberry jam and clotted cream. Well, hello there, kind lady. <laughs> Can we get some tea for her ladyship? <laughs> Yeah? Oh, Good. She, look, she looks pleased as punch. Now your turn. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. It's the salmon and caviar. Mm -hmm. Whatever this stuff is. Mm. Open mind. Mm -hmm. I'm fresh. What's the verdict? It's actually not bad, it's more just like knowing what it is. Because I'm not an onion guy. It's very like smoky, meaty, like like that smell you get when you walk through like a market with a bunch of open meat hanging out. That's what's in my mouth. It sounds so appetizing. Doesn't it taste like that though? Like that smell you get when you're like seeing a whole bunch of meat just hanging out. Meat, it's off. fish. I tried it. You guys like sausage? <laughs> Tiny one. Wow, you, you really know how to handle a sausage. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? <laughs> what are you getting notes of? Salty. Sausage. Bacon. You yeah. like it? Yeah. I'm not insightful enough to be a movie critic. Maybe I could be a food critic. These muffins taste bad. Or an art critic. That painting is bad. What are you eating? 
I'm eating Chickadee China the Chinese pudding. <laughs> what is it really? Sticky toffee pudding. Same difference. How is it? It's very, it's kind of like herby. Herby? Yeah. I think there's nutmeg, cinnamon, something else. She has a very strong sense of smell. What was your favorite? Um, just go. <laughs> Yeah. Here we have the human female in her natural environment catching <laughs> selfies of themselves. And I realize that that's a redundant phrase. Exposition. Exhibition. Because we're exhibitionists. Hello, welcome to our photographic exhibition. <laughs> So can you explain to me what the motorcycle has to do with Harry Potter? It's what Hagrid rode in on to deliver Harry. to see come from away. Come from away. Woohoo! 